Hi teachers, it's Kat from catteacher.com. I just wanted to show you guys today the newest reward system and borders that I've just made for this break time. So basically what I made was a reward system where you can grow a flower. Now this is kind of what it's gonna look like in the end, but this is all a digital reward system, so we're gonna use it through Minicam. Now if you guys have never downloaded Minicam before, uh, I highly suggest having a look at some of my tutorial videos. And uh, just to say thanks for everything, uh, I appreciate it when you guys use my affiliate links. Basically I love sharing all of my effects and my reward systems with you guys and it's really nice of you guys if you uh, use my links uh, as I'm affiliated with Minicam. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look at our reward system. So now this is kind of what it's going to look like when it's in Minicam. So you can use the three pots and the three flowers or you can kind of just do the single flower in the single pot. It's totally up to you whatever you'd like to do. Now basically I'll kind of show you what I've got for you here. Uh, these are called borders and these are going to go around your video screen. I'll show you uh, basically how it looks in just a moment and then you're also going to download these objects now you've got your kind of your choice of different color pots you've got the background that you're going to use or what's called an overlay then you've also got these different flowers the seed the sprout all this goodies all these all this good stuff and I will show you basically how to download everything this is all click and go you don't have to change any of the effects you don't have to create your own it is all ready for you so all you need to do is click this zip file here here, and it's going to download into your downloads folder. Now if you can't find it, uh, mine usually comes down here, check your downloads folder, that's normally where it ends up going. So I'm going to click this open and I'm going to have a look and now you can see that all of these are MCV files. Basically that means that Minicam can read them and they are ready to be opened directly into Minicam. So I'm going to select all of these, right click and open them. Now, it might not look like anything is happening, although it might open up your Minicam. If it does not, go ahead and open up Minicam, and you can check in your effects, and you can see that I've got some new items here. Now, these, are, these orange items are basically new items, so you can see that I've got some objects here, and I've got an unordered, which is the background. Sometimes, uh, if you have an overlay folder, that's also where it might go. And then finally, you've got three new borders to play with too. So I've got lots of other borders and things like that, but they're here they are here. So uh, let's kind of have a look at what it's gonna look like. So uh, I don't have my camera connected at the moment, so I'm just gonna use a blank image and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look. So basically, if my screen or my video were right here, I can click this on, it's gonna be transparent and it's gonna be right around here. So I can click it on, click it off, spring into English, and welcome to class. If you like one, prefer one over the other, all you need to do is hit this little X and you can get rid of them. Uh, it might ask you if you want to delete it and then you can delete it and just keep the one that you like to just to save a little space. Okay, so let's go to the reward systems. I'm gonna set up a preset basically right here. You can go to your presets or you can click this button at the bottom. So we'll click on the button at the bottom and um, since I don't have my video open at the moment, I'm also gonna do a blank image. So let's do a uh, fuchsia one. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we can transition over to this one here and basically what we're going to end up doing is start adding in our effects. So uh, if you'd like to go ahead and organize these instead of just kind of leaving them in the objects, there's a really easy way to do it. You can add a new category here. You can see there's a folder button right here with the plus sign. And basically I'm going to add in maybe like springtime, something like that. And let's create it here. So now you can drag and drop if you like them in alphabetical order. You can move this around, just drag and drop where you'd like it. And we're going to open up springtime, but there's nothing in here, so we need to add in some new effects. So now, uh, happen to, I'll just go ahead and put the my borders in there as well, because uh, this is getting a little bit hectic. So I'm going to click and click, and I'm going to have these two check marks here, and I'm going to move two items. So now they're in my springtime folder, you can see it here. Now I'm going to add some more items. I know that the other ones went into objects, so I'm going to click through all of these items, and I'm gonna go ahead and move those 11 items as well. And I think I'm missing one more thing, that's the background, and he is sitting in this little unordered, and he needs to come with me as well, so I will move him over as well. So now I've got everything I need right here. Now the first thing that I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to click on this and it's going to say I can grow a flower. Now this is something that you cannot change. So you could you could try to drag it around and things like that, but it's called an overlay and it's just going to sit on top of anything. So if you've got your picture here and you'd like to set it on top, it will sit on top of everything. So be careful of that if that's not something that you want to do. I usually make another preset to make it a little easier. So now here's the fun part. The student can pick the pot. So you've got different colors, different sizes of the pot. You can do three pots. You can do one floral pot. Uh, if you want one to sit on top of the other, just click it and it'll kind of come to the foreground. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the purple pot. Why not? So I'm going to have the purple pot kind of sit over here and I'm going to explain some stuff over this way. So, uh, you know, what do we need when we want to grow a flower we need a seed so i have a little packet of seeds which is kind of cute so you can say oh we're putting in some seeds we have the little packet of seeds and we need to choose one so sometimes i will make the student kind of open their hands and get the seeds out <laughs> and then they need to pick out a little seed so we say okay boop, put the seed in the pot now we put it in the pot and we can actually just click the pot you can see it's still back there but now it's in the pot which is kind of cute and maybe the next idea might be kind of fun. We'll get rid of the seed and we need to water it. Okay, so we need to water, 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 water our little seed so you can kind of put the watering can over the entire thing, which is kind of cute too. And then the next time, maybe you go back to your scene over here, you do your lesson a little bit. And of course you can sneak back in the background and you can start adding a few things. So now we are sneaking around, we have this little this little eye spot here and this means basically that we are editing something in the background but the student can't see it so we're gonna go play around with it and we're gonna say okay we need to go check on our plant let's go check on our flower <gasps> look the the seed has sprouted something like that so of course we need to water 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 and we need to tuck the seed back into the little pot so he's growing he's growing slightly we need to water and water and water him and then of course we do something else and maybe in the background I'm gonna go play with it again I'm gonna get rid of the watering can and now he's going to sprout something like that so I kind of set it up and then put the little pot a little forward and now look my goodness okay here comes the stem and then of course we can water 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 <laughs> Yes, of course, it's repetitive, but it is the reward system. And then finally, they can choose what flower they finally want. So I've got a couple of flowers to choose from. Uh, you, can, you can put three flowers in there. All you need to do is hit control and you can make some more stems. So maybe if they've been really, really good, they can have all these little flowers that have been growing. Just got to kind of get it sitting just right. And yeah, now we've got all of these little flowers and all of these things have grown in our little garden. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time with your kids using this reward system and that it was super fun. And I hope to see you again on catteacher.com. Thanks.